Hey guys, this is Zane from Icon. I'm gonna show you guys how to make block ice today with your Dibby drop-in tray. Uh, we're gonna fill it up like a normal ice tray. We're gonna leave a little bit of room for expansion. We're gonna loosely put the lid of the Dibby on the tray. We're not gonna snap it down. We don't want it to warp if the ice over expands. We're gonna throw it in the freezer for 12 hours. Should create a 10 pound piece of block ice. We've done that already. This has been in the freezer for a little over 12 hours. I'm gonna show you guys what results. So there it is, is our roughly 10 pound piece of block ice to release the ice just like any normal tray. We've already released this one, but you're just gonna pull on the edges. It doesn't take a lot of effort. And then we're gonna have our 10 pound piece of block ice ready to go into our cooler. We've saved some money. We saved a trip to the store and we've still got our Dibby ready to use for dry goods, dry ice, bait, whatever you want to do with it. We've now got some block ice in the cooler, just another use for the new Dibby drop-in tray. Again, this has been Zane with Icon and thanks for listening.